grand rising loves this is the altar spread for the collective today so the sacred geometry that showed up for today is tree vessel and you see this beautiful interlocking spirals that's beautiful so what the tree vessel represents is receptivity as wide as the root spread that is equal to the birth of the boughs birth meaning space the spans of the boughs the stretch of the boughs so they're in complete balance and as above so below right <clears throat> but what the tree represents is stillness that in that stillness they receive information and store that wisdom they are ancient beings that can share that wisdom and so what the tree teaches us is that in stillness in receptivity we are being active and so a lot of times the issue with being still is i'm not doing anything so i'm not worthy i'm not lovable and that's a lie this is teaching you that even in stillness when you receive there is great worth in that and also learning in that and wisdom so when you receive you are also learning about everything that you're surrounding yourself with and it creates clarity so you become wiser wiser about your relationships about your interactions about your environment everything you become more deeply connected in that receptivity and so that's the message of tree vessel and i love that sacrifice and i love that look look at the synchronicity of the number there so the sacrifice talks about you creating sacredness of something because that's what the word literally means the sacrifice sacrifice means to make sacred and it's saying that you are ready to receive abundance and grace make the sacrifice but the only thing that is worthy to be sacrificed for that immense amount of divine grace is your heart your love that is the only thing worthy of that level of grace so make sacred your heart and your love and offer it up and so this is about surrender just like the tree says like this is receptivity surrender it's about saying i hand it over that's it i give it and i love that that cohesiveness and so lepetalite this talks about acceptance but remember it's self acceptance can i actually look at myself and say i accept every single bit of myself i have so much appreciation for that which i am that which i have become the experiences that have forged me I accept it all. I receive it all. That's the receptivity. And I am so worthy to be an offering, a sacred offering with all of my facets. I am worthy and I will make sacred that which I am. And so this is lepetalite. This is the little um le lepetalite cubes that I love to give to my clients. I call it the chill pill. <laughs> Because really it has a high lithium content and it's super calming. But it really connects you with your higher self. So it creates an immense amount of clarity. And this is also a polished lepetalite. This is the palm stones that I use in my healing sessions. And so it's not really smooth. The petalite is kind of like a flake. It grows in flakes and so it's not smooth smooth when it's polished. It has almost this um texture to it. So you can see 
the surface. How interesting. I didn't put that song on repeat. And the song that just showed up is Surrender by Janae Aiko. So I love that. So this is um, my lapetalite window. This is natural lapetalite, but it's got the clear window. So I'll hold it in front of the candle. Isn't that beautiful? So these actually will help you see deeper into self. But see how it grows? Render yourself to me. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's how it grew. That's natural. So the circle cross of Tenon, the rare intersection of heaven and earth, what this talks about is that there is a rare occurrence that happens where there is an opening between heaven and earth for healing to occur and for abundance to occur. And now is that moment. So do not wait. Step into the divine and all of the changes that need to happen for you, let them happen. Come clean. Clear all deceit in your life and then receive the abundance that is due because you were able to clear that space for what is actually meant for you. Now is the time to do it. That this will occur seamlessly right now. There won't be any angst in that shift because you will be blessed and protected through that shift. You will be blessed and protected through that shift. Just come clean. And this is about receptivity and acceptance. I'm accepting who I am. This is what I need to do. And I make sacred of that. And so in order for me to offer that up, these things need to be changed. I'm doing it. And then all of a sudden, woo, this beautiful tsunami of blessing will come on you. Isn't that beautiful? And that is the spread for today. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me.